Howdy y'all, it's your host Rogue. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're gonna try out Nickelodeon's SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake today. I hope you enjoy. I, uh, been wanting to try this one out, especially after we finished SpongeBob SquarePants The Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Really enjoy the SpongeBob games. We're gonna see what we think of this game. I hope you enjoy, and we're gonna get right to it. So, new game. Look at the cartoon style, I love it. I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready. I forgot something, I forgot something. Now I'm really ready, now I'm really ready. Woo, I'm so excited to go to Glove World. I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is, or who I am. So I have the colorblind mode turned on because I am colorblind as all get out. Good morning, Gare Bear. Uh -huh. I'm glad to see you and Spot doing something for the environment. It's not waste if you don't waste it. <laughs> no, 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 not you, not today. This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life. Myself. And my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away. Nice. Square word being a dick, as always. Ever get the sense you're being controlled by a higher power? Or like some kid? All the time. I'm not one who really believes in free will. Come back after my alarm goes off. I'm on a tight duty sleep schedule. I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. Good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway. Officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. A to jump. The voice sounds a little uh, off for Spongebob. I wonder if it's the same uh, guy, cause... You ever get the sense you're being controlled by a higher power? Or like, some kid? Alright. Hey, a button. Can't hit the button. All right, back it up. Nothing to see here except the giant traffic jam. You must be the kids controlling us all. All right, let's go talk to old Sandy, Sandy Cheeks. Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. 
Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Uh, do you want to come? Thanks. But you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul. Y'all. Midwestern SpongeBob. How do I? I think you might have missed a few spots. If you could take care of those, why it'd be sweeter than stolen honey. Ow. How does spin attack X? Did I get smaller or did these tiki's get bigger? No glove, no love. Nice. This seems like a much slower start than battle. And confused. Mommy. Seems like a slower start than a battle for Bikini Bottom. Sorry, my rectangular friend. Nobody's getting through right now. We're still sorting out this massive traffic jam. Oh, I see. Well, thanks anyway, officer. Good luck cracking the case. Hi, Pearl. And how are you on this beautiful day? Oh, SpongeBob, didn't you hear? It's a tragedy. There's a huge sale at the mall today, but because of this stupid traffic jam, none of the buses can get me there. That is a tragedy. Well, the bus to Glove World is still running. You could join me and Patrick there instead. Um, thanks, but I have a social status to uphold. You have fun without me, SpongeBob. How could this happen to me? Huh. Why I wonder who's at fault like here. Probably tragedy. that guy. That was mean. Quiet down. I'm trying to sleep with my eyes open. Got a spin attack. All right. Ah, my beloved bikini bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. Nah. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. Two out. Uh, two hours later. Loading. <laughs> what, Patrick? Cool kids. Hi. Meh. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. No. Uh, still not cool enough. Huh? Oh, can I have this? What, this old piece of... magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh! One hour later. I wish... No. I wish no. I wish oh, 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 oh. Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! <laughs> 
Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. Oh. Oh. SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune, not for use by mortals. You sparingly and with caution. Uh-oh. Uh Patrick, what have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! Oh, I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh. I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! Oh yeah, totally didn't just cause a big issue. Sticky sweet! Good thing Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. Giant rock! All that's left are my. Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now, how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. <laughs> Maybe. That seemed a little bit more linear than Ouch. the other one. Looks pretty broken. But this area looks fine. I can finally put my black belt to good use. And all this time, I've been using it as a scarf. Nice. Oh, her dome broke. Oh, no. Weird. Sandy's house feels wetter than usual. Uh, Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. So we gotta collect them, guessing whatever these things are. Dude, we jacked up this area. Just looking around. 
Old folks home is still okay. Dude, I wish I could summon a pizza box out of nowhere. Did I go for some pizza? I like it because it's squishy. Oh, that was close. Not the crusty crab. What will the brave people of Bikini Bottom eat now? And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this. Take your wobbly hand off of me. I'm too smart to end like this. All right, so there's some weird portal. Gotta dodge left and B. Sorry, nothing personal. <laughs> so do we. You multicellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Correct. Oh, no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In. Correct. You who over here, my little blunders. Totally not our fault. Okay, this was probably our fault. Just a little bit. Me. Oh, it's the meeps. Dude, he has a lot of trash underneath his house. Ooh, my adorable cuties. You survived this calamity. No, Madam Cassandra. We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom. And now all of our friends are gone and there's jelly everywhere and... 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 I miss my Gear Bear! Oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble stravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was going to be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible for giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Use a shop to equip and purchase SpongeBob's costumes. I like costumes by playing the story, collecting the balloons, completing side quests. Use cosmic jelly to purchase and unlock costumes. Access the shop in the pause menu. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wow, there's a lot of awards. Uh, world map. 
Bastion. You can't be silly, be jelly. Fan Geeks, Opposite Day, Dried Sponge, Kermit Bob, Merman Bob, Robot Stilt. Oh, there's quite a few. Wow. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. Pastoral cattle rancher? Sounds like you're just a cattle rancher. What's the line? What are best friends for? Telling me not to go over the line. Alright. Exploring around a little bit. Mrs. Puff. School's out, SpongeBob. I have a bit of a heated situation here. You know that she killed her husband, took all the money, and came to Annie Bottom. Story of Mrs. Puff. You guys are funny. All right. Time to go into this portal. Uh, howdy y'all. One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. Whoa. This is trippy. A strong feeling we're not bikini bottom anymore. Looks more like the wild west. This is not easy. Manta Fay. Um, this is not what we were just on. Phew, what a fun ride! Yeah, let's get in line and ride it again. All right, so we're getting a lot of these pearls. Sandra wants with this stuff. The only thing I make out of jelly is jelly sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall. I don't know what these things even are. Um, we're not going to risk our lives for possibly four pearls. Jellyfish, jelly, ow, almost got hit by that. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Soda water? What do you see? <laughs> Barnacles, it's so small. We'll never fit in there. Why do we have to be so big? 
No, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. Patrick, it's Mrs. Krabs. If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her. <laughs> Quick, let's catch up with her. She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first, just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. <laughs> We're gonna collect our nice pearls. Oh, oh, this is gonna be close. Gotta watch out for that spiky cacti. What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. Look, more loose luggage. How do we get across? I think that's a button. How to bubble button. Oh, 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 don't die. Get it on the platform. Got you both. I feel like I've had several near death experiences on this ranch before. Yeah, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What yeah. is she doing on a ranch? Mm, I love ranch. I do too. Like an adventure within our adventure. Double adventure. I'm ready. I'm ready. Always be ready for a double adventure. I don't know where this is going. Oh wait, there's a coin. How do we get to that coin? So there is a lot going on here. A little dabble, do ya? Didn't make it. I knew I could count on you, Patrick. Okay, so there's nothing else over here. I mean, we're definitely exploring this area. Well there, partner. I think we're uh, we're about to the point where we have to go talk to Mrs. Puff. But we did get one coin. Turn that off that way.
There has to be... There's a spatula up there. Mrs. Puff. Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. <laughs> However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license! Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fay. Well there, partner, that actually looks kind of dangerous. Alright. See if we can, uh... Cowabunga dudes! Oh, so close. Look at me go! Ouch! Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that, uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and, uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so, any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready? And go! Jump and boost. Oh. Okay. I could have done that better. Well done, SpongeBob. You scored thirty five point seven points. Let's try that again. I could totally do that. Did everything just reset? Don't tell me everything reset. Oh, no. Okay, so I still got my coin and my spatula. You can retry my writing test. SpongeBob, jump! Hey, I get how to do it now. SpongeBob, you scored 35.7 points. Phew, that was a close one. Keep on smashing! SpongeBob, look out! We got this. Don't make me call my insurance agent! Don't plan to, Mrs. Puh. I got this, partner. Dear, you have six points. <laughs> Out of seven. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Here's your license. Thanks, partner. A license. Yeehaw! Oh, I don't think 
think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals. With the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. <laughs> uh. Here to save game, just in case. You didn't have to do anything, you had to float around. That's way over there. I don't know if I can get there from here. Oh, we're not supposed to hit the horse. Sweet. Billy the Bass is getting his big celebration today. Yeah, folks are coming from all over to see him. I reckon most of them are coming for the free ice cream. I mean, you can't turn down for your ice cream. Especially like vanilla. Vanilla's my favorite. And a lot of people don't know this, but scientists have found out that if you're diabetic, ice cream treats it. It lowers your blood sugar. Even though there's sugar in ice cream, if you eat ice cream as a diabetic, your body handles sugar better. So all diabetics should eat ice cream. Now what gets me is I'm also lactose intolerant. So where I do love ice cream, sometimes it doesn't love me. I like it cause it's squishy. There's legitly a bounce pad here. I walked all the way back. Oh well. Old SpongeBob, new pants. Got it. He says you have to go straight for objectives. Ouch. Chef might be at the saloon if you're still looking for them. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now, look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann. 
Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sits straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little catch of soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly Bandit! Uh, I think he lost his pants. Nah. Ain't you fuller of surprises than my spice after a sandstorm? Taking on them jelly bandits like that? Let's see what you're really made of. Grab your straw. Bottoms up. You didn't know that that was the thing. All right. Sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. Nice. These jelly thugs got no backbone. No, they don't. Don't let them hurt me. I'm an ugly crier. Hey, ouch! See if we can. I don't like cactuses. They're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. L like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel. How to bubble throw, RB. There you go. It wasn't allowing me to. Kind of familiar looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%. I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them. Since the shortage... 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them cacteen hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. I don't want to give you 90% of my business. Oh. Hey, there's a bounty on the red-handed bandit. Have you seen that blasted outlaw in these parts? No, sorry. I'm new in town. But that bandit does look familiar. Focus, Patrick. We're looking for Mr. Krabs, not bandits. 
about SpongeBob? What, Patrick? Do you feel like we're being watched? A little bit. I always bet on the wrong guy in the sap duel. Last time I take advice from a seahorse. Did you hear? The mollusks are coming. The mollusks are coming. Not the mollusks. We stopped three things. Driftwood, spackle, and shellac. Oh, so you're a sandwich shop. Something ain't right with you. I mean, SpongeBob is always a little special, but not wrong with that. We're all special in our own way. Yeah. Ooh, look, an old warning sign. It says Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, baby, that cactus is way up there, huh? Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'd already forgotten the controls. Woo! <laughs> Funny meeting you here. Just uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's juicy profit. I mean, uh, cacti all around these parts. Now get. This is it, Patrick. That juicy cactus gold awaits us. Yeet! Huh. Woo! <laughs> Funny meeting. There's. Yeehaw. All right. So there is a lot. What is that? That's cool. Alright, we don't want to do that again just yet. Don't fall to your death, SpongeBob. Coming at ya. Hey. So you got a reward. Confusion is a goat on AstroTurf. Okay. Like that has to get raised somehow. Like, we definitely are missing a few things right here. Sorry, nothing personal. I just want a little taste, please. Taste of what? SpongeBob no pants? sign it read beware of bullworm why worry about a little worm 
Bullworms ain't little. Alright. That doesn't take you up there. Owl skull thing over there. Even a blind hog can find an acorn once in a while. I like it because it's squishy. Oh, I have to keep hitting it. I didn't realize it. The question is, where is SpongeBob stored in this cacti juice? Break his arm patting himself on the back. That is true. Run, SpongeBob. I'm kind of curious what that bubble is supposed to be. Cause it's only when there's a bunch of them around that it does it. Wait, if we fall, we can get back up now. Oh no. One of my greatest weaknesses, balancing. That'll learn ya. Right, we are pretty high up too. Ooh, we almost didn't make that. Don't come at me like that, bro. The Krusty Krab Pizza is a pizza for you and me. Yeah, it is. I could go for some Krusty Krab Pizza. Mm, that looks fun. I bet I could get down faster than you. Hey, kid, be careful. This heat does funny things to your head. Yeah, it do. Oh, don't listen to him. He lost his mind ages ago. You can do it, SpongeBob. All right, well, that makes more sense. So those are coming down from up there. Well, cowpoke, that seems a little dangerous. We just missed a bunch of those. live longer in the city it just seems that way it is true country life has its own ow 
has its own uh, special things. That guy out. I wonder if something is over. Wait, he found something that I did not. this to come down a little bit more. Oh, we are going up in the clouds. SpongeBob cloud pants. Come at me like that. Don't come at me like that. Alright, Spongebob. And one more cacti juice to drink. Uh, okay, I was about to say. <laughs> drink that cacti juice, SpongeBob. Come on! We gotta bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. I almost fell to SpongeBob's death. Oh no. <laughs> All these precise jumps. Ooh, more jelly. Ah, why did it fall? Oh well. That looks dangerous. I mean, we missed a few jelly bubbles, but that's not bad. I think we got all the coins and if there are spatula. Oh, it knocked me off. Not uh, expecting that. Alright. Talk about like extreme platformers. All things are better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Oh wait, there's a button. Don't miss the button. Button could be important. Howdy, mister. Take a shot at beating your bubble 
broken record. I guess I can't do that yet. That means we do have to go back at some point. Yes, they are. I've worked with a few people that way. Excuse me. Yeah, I work with or have worked with two people that way where that screwed up. Two of them. Look at me go! We're actually going to end up calling it there. Have a wonderful day. Tune in to the next episode. I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Have a wonderful day. God bless.